Thank you, Daniel. Do you want to go upstairs? Yeah. Okay. So once we're up here, I'll tell you a little bit more about our uh, Wapisi cattle that we have. Looks like Bart's already coming to say hi. Alrighty. So welcome to your first behind the scenes location. Oh, it looks like they're all coming over today. I was talking to Danielle and we're like, oh, it might be too hot out today for them to come over. But it looks like they wanted to come and say hi. So this guy right in front of us here, this is Bart. Uh, we can tell him apart from the rest of them uh, because his horns, they go out, but they, they are very straight on top. Next coming is one of our two females actually, or the next two coming, that is Maggie and Marge. The girls are usually the first ones here, but Bart beat them to it today. Then the next one with the thickest horns, that is Mo. And then the uh, one with the most white behind them, that is Millhouse. Millhouse is our most dominant uh, Watusi here, so he kind of runs the herd a little bit here. If Danielle wanted to start passing out carrots because they're over here, uh, we can uh, toss them some carrots. So when you guys are aiming, try to hit the top gravel path there. So we just don't want to encourage them to come down here because then it's a little awkward. We want to be able to see them, so we'll throw it up there. But uh, these guys are actually a domesticated species, meaning they are not actually found in the wild. Uh, a few tribes in Africa actually consider this animal to be sacred. So their owners uh, will collect as many okay. cattle okay. Um, yeah. as possible, as when they have um, Lots of cattle, then they are seen. Um, try not to hit our cattle, it's completely Sorry. fine, but it's fine. Um, so, these guys, the more cattle that you have, the more valuable you seem. So, um, an owner in Africa, they want as many cattle as possible because um, then they seem greater, um, I guess I could say. Um, but because these guys are so valuable, um, when they actually get uh, predated uh, in East Africa, um, so if a lion comes and hunts these guys, then unfortunately, these owners who love these cattle will come and take revenge on whatever predator came. So, we talked a little bit about how the Toronto Zoo wants to get that conservation message across, and this is one of... Uh, one way that we can start at the bottom and work up. So if we save these cattle, then we will eventually save our lions or our hyenas that will be hunting uh, this species. It's okay. Um, so if we protect them, we give these guys better fencing to uh, um, hold them in, then we actually will end up eventually saving another species that would uh, predate them. Because if then they don't hunt, then our uh, owners of these cattle won't go after uh, that species. So they're kind of like the foundation for conservation a bit. Hi guys. <laughs> um, but these guys also do uh, hold a record for uh, the Guinness World Record for thickest horns of bovine. So Mo right here in the middle, he's doing an amazing example. Uh, his horns are so thick, so they do hold the Guinness World Records for this. These guys actually do have um, very defensive instincts. Uh, so in the wild, when they have young, uh, they will actually sleep in a circle with all of their horns pointing outwards and all their young in the middle. So then nothing can get to the young. Yes, they are very smart. Yeah. I can't believe how close they are. Yeah, they always like to come and say hi. They're social cattle. <laughs> They're beautiful. Yeah. So there was actually a myth that going around that people would see these guys and be like, okay, the one with the most white is actually youngest, but that is actually a lie. This is just his coloration. He isn't, he is the youngest of this herd, but he won't grow out um, of those spots. That's just his coloration. Um, so our boys are the younger ones here. Uh, they are all five. And then Maggie and Marge are the older ones. So our two girls. I believe they're six and nine, um, and Marge is the mom of Bert. 
so uh, there is no breeding within this herd here. Um, our males are castrated. So even though we talked about those natural uh, um, instincts to protect young, we won't be able to see that here because we won't have any baby Watusi anytime soon. Oh my goodness, everybody's peeing. <laughs> eight, that's why. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions about our Watusi cattle? <laughs> Any questions? Nothing? No, they all just ate probably water Yep, it's completely natural. <laughs> it looks like Bart has lost interest. Did anybody want any pictures of the two of you together or anything like that? I can make that happen. Tom, who's dad? Um, so Hari. Oh, Tom! No, that's Chris. I tried. I'm gonna see Tom again. Oh, cool. Our white rhinos and Indian rhinos, or our greater one horn rhinos. So these rhinos actually have two horns, where our greater one horn rhinos only have one. And they use their horns for two separate things. So these guys will use them more for fighting, and our greater one horn rhinos will use uh, those horns more for foraging and fighting. So they're gonna fight with their horns. Alright, so we are gonna be going into this building here. Mommy, fight with their horns. We will be meeting a keeper and go see our zebras. We're gonna um, see some zebras. Uh, walking through this building, though, free, feel free to take some pictures. It's pretty cool, even though. This half is empty because this holds our zebras in our eland, and our, they're both on exhibit right now. Um, but if you take a look down the left hallway as we walk by, that holds some of our birds. So you may see some hornbills down there, our two marabou storks, uh, Gracie and George are down there, as well as we have a vulture down there named Lloyd. Um, they may be on exhibit right now, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but we can slowly come in here. as much as they see adults. So the quieter, the more still we are, the better. So obviously you can tell Obi. Mom is a right beside. Lorianne is right here. And then daughter uh, Leia is right there. Wow, hi, who's coming over? So they seem to do, this is like their MO right now. They have to like go and then come back. <laughs> 
So Grevy zebras are the species we have here because they are extremely endangered. So yeah. we are part of a species survival plan. So um, Leia and... Okay. Okay. So you can stay and feed Eland or you can come see Jake. Come see Jake. Okay. Great. Okay. Right. So you're okay if you start on feeding? Alright? Yeah. Okay. It's up to you. These guys are fantastic at the game. They really well, so they're in their office here, so it's amazing. Um, so Jake's a... You might have her for feeding, you might not, but you get to see it. Yeah, let's see Jake. Sorry. Apple. Apple. Yeah, so we have one Wombo here. He's most dominant. Then it goes T-Rex. Thank you. 